What's going on Explorers? Welcome to another product review video. And I'm very excited about this product because it's been a long time in development, over a year since I first conceived of this idea, tested it, and now it's available to the public and I'm excited to tell you all about it. Now if you haven't gathered from all the cool toys on the table here, the product we're talking about is a night vision recording system. Now how do we go about recording night vision? Well, in this case, it's a very straightforward path. We take night vision goggles and we find a way to get a camera behind them. Now, the problem with that is, of course, you could just stick a camera behind something, but then you sort of take away the function of seeing through night vision. So we get around that by using a splitter, which lets an uh, image pass through and then half the image go to the camera. So that's a common way of recording something and still retaining the ability to see through it. And a few people and companies have done this. Now the problem with the current designs out there, they're either too bulky, too expensive, or the image quality is too poor, or some combination of those. I looked at those problems that the existing platforms have and took it as a challenge to design something that takes care of all that and improves in many ways. I'll quickly go over how the product works and at the end of the video, there'll be a more detailed instructional video on all the fine points of it. So simply the product is a clip-on product. All you need to install it is a night vision goggle set with a night cup mounting ring. That could be a PVS7 set like we see here that comes with a built-in cup ring. It could be a PVS14 set here sitting with a three times magnifier or here we have a set of Sentinels which also have an option to screw in that mounting ring. Most modern goggles allow you to add that eye cup ring. That being a common factor amongst the many different goggle systems out there, I decided to base my design around that. Now installing the system is really easy. All you have to do is undo two screws and unclip two halves of the mount. Then you simply slide the night vision recording system over one half and the locking piece over the other half, tighten down the bolt and you're ready to go. The design allows you to easily mount over your left or your right eye depending on your preference. The system is simply friction fit. There is no permanent damage or any modifications you have to make to the goggle. All you have to do is supply the eye cup ring. The recording unit is battery powered and the battery is interchangeable. The internals are sourced from a RunCam 2 camera. So it's compatible with RunCam 2 batteries and the RunCam 2 recording app. The RunCam app allows you to have a live view of what you're seeing, change settings or format your SD card. Now the design itself is essentially a clip-on piece with the camera off to the side. Everything's positioned in such a way to allow contouring around the face, access to the night vision goggle controls, and the minimalist design to let the eye sit as close to the goggle as possible. For me, the most frustrating part of night vision, especially when it comes to airsoft, is the requirement for goggles. That already offsets your night vision. So your view portal shrinks just by that. Then you start adding the recording system and then you can get real bulky and you're looking at a tiny pinhole way far from your face. Plus it puts the night vision goggle forward, adding to more weight dangling in front of you, which just makes everything more uncomfortable. The way the system is designed, it adds almost no bulk. It slants and goes with the contour of your face. And even the camera is tilted and angled in such a way that it contours your face further. So when this is butted up against goggles, you can get really close to the goggle, almost as if nothing is there, which allows for better viewing, a larger image, and a more pleasant experience. Night vision is already clumsy and I didn't want to clumsy it up anymore with a bunch of bulk in front of your face. Once you have the mount installed, all the other operation is exactly the same. It doesn't in any way affect the NVG arm. Uh, you simply flip your goggles down and you're seeing what you would normally be seeing. To record, there's an integrated button that has two functions. First, it blocks off the secondary button, which is the Wi-Fi access button, leaving you with no decisions to make. All you have is one button to press, which auto starts recording and then when you long press it again, it'll turn off the camera and stop recording. The second function is it covers up most of the visible light. All you see is just a little hint of blue, blinking blue for that matter, which indicates you're recording. It's enough for you to see point blank, maybe by putting your arm under it and seeing the reflection, but it's not strong enough to where anybody will spot it in the field. Unnecessary light pollution was a big concern of mine and the design reflects that by eliminating any unnecessary light. As I mentioned, the design has been evolving for over a year. It has gone through great reiterations and I'm very happy where it's at now. You get a great full image that fills up most of the screen, 1080, 60p resolution, beautiful video of what you see now there is captured right onto the SD card for you to share with everyone else. The camera can additionally be powered by an external power bank for longer operations. I've used this in several events over the past year and I've gotten some great nighttime gameplay footage. Be sure to check out those gameplay videos. So now that you've seen the general purpose of the camera and some of the sizzle footage, 
let's dive in a little deeper and take a look at the installation, operation, and all the fine points of the system. When you first get the system, it's a ready to go out of the box system. It does come with a quick change battery and you can add on an optional SD card. Those are the only two things that are needed to make it operate. Now, of course, you will have to provide your own night vision goggles. And as I mentioned, the iCop ring, links to all that in the description. From that point on, all you have to do is take the system, undo the two bolts, then you can separate the two main locking pieces apart. That will be the body of the camera, which has all the electronics, the battery, the lens, the mirrors, and there will be the locking piece, which goes over the top or over the bottom, depending which eye you're mounting it on, and the hardware is all included. If you slide it on over the ring, cap it with the other half, and tighten down the bolts. This is a friction fit system, so the tighter you tighten down the bolts, the tighter it will stay put. It naturally wants to stay in a proper horizontal orientation. Now you might want to keep it loose if you are using a PVS-14 goggle, so you can quickly switch from left to right eye. But I would recommend tightening it uh, so there's no surprises with your footage afterwards. To install the battery, pop open the back cover that also encases the button. Then install the battery with the three prongs facing up and reapply the back cap. Make sure it's tight, it should be flush against the back and it should be really hard to get off. At this point, you're ready to go. Install the goggles in your night vision arm, flip them down and press the only button that you can feel. It is raised so you can quickly bump into it, press it and listen for the record sound. You can also double check by seeing if the blue light is slowly blinking. That indicates recording. A side note for PBS7 users, the way the mirroring inside works to split one image into two eyes, it is best to slide the night vision recording system all the way to the center closest to your nose bridge for that fuller circle effect. Night vision goggles remind me a little bit of prescription lenses. Everyone seems to have a different preference for that perfect sharp image. Now what that means is a setting on one person's goggle might be blurry or uncomfortable for another person but yet the camera stays the same so in order to accommodate for that we added an option to fine-tune the focus on the camera when you do receive it it will be focused for an average eyesight but if you're seeing an image is a little blurry you can make the adjustments in order to do that all you have to do is undo three screws you don't completely take them out you just loosen them this will allow the lens inside to rotate there are two access points to allow the rotation of the lens. Either one is fine. You could adjust from top or bottom depending on what situation you're in. Now after you loosen the screws, again, don't take them out so you don't lose anything. Simply loosen them. Go ahead and boot up the RunCam app so you can get a nice visual representation of what you're seeing. Focus on something very contrasty, uh, black and white preferably, and something recognizable like text maybe. Now first be sure to focus your goggle because you're sort of focusing the camera to your goggle. So set the goggle to your preferred viewing state and then adjust the camera to match that focus. Now all you have to do is rotate the lens in very small increments. Try it one way, try it the other way and I would even recommend recording the whole thing. So maybe turn it on, look at it through the app and make verbal cues. Note the original position and then node the turn so maybe 1 16th counterclockwise 1 16th clockwise check the footage see how you like it once you get to the point that you like simply go back retighten all the screws and now the lens is locked in permanently and it will never shift so when you first get this make sure you test it make sure you're happy with it and then there's no surprises when you're out there getting those sweet airsoft kills hunting or whatever you're planning on doing with these Another tip on the system is the audio. Now it does have a mic in it and it does pick up audio at night, especially when it's nice and clear. It does pick up decent audio. Unfortunately, it's a limitation of the camera itself. So to supplement that, I run a secondary camera on the side here. This is a GoPro session. Now it's good for when maybe you're in a bright environment and your night vision camera can't record that or it's all just blown out. But its main function for me is the audio. I sync the two cameras up and then I grab the audio from here and I get the best of both worlds. I get great audio, I get night vision footage and I get any kind of light footage when it's too much for night vision or this makes more sense. Or if I want to show how dark the environment is in comparison to night vision. And you could power this camera externally. Here I have a power bank on my back that I could run the wire to the back of the camera. Uh, for this, I would recommend one of those coiled wires because there's a lot of stretching as the goggles go up and down. But with a coiled wire, you could power this as long as your power bank lasts. 
The recording system is very durable. I've had absolutely no problems with the, either the camera or the glass, but it does require a little bit of maintenance. Make sure you clean off the glass mostly for your own viewing because the inside is a lot more protected from the elements but the external piece of glass can use a little wiping make sure to use a non-abrasive preferably a microfiber cloth to keep it all clean and if need be sometimes you might have to wipe the lens if you go through some extreme conditions and something gets on the other side of the glass but for the most part the unit is very durable and it can withstand a lot you will be putting this against your face so i would recommend using a set of goggles uh, if you're not out anywhere getting shot back maybe low profile shooting goggles for airsoft i would recommend the revision exo shields again links in the description to all the stuff i use all right you guys now if you like what you're seeing here head over to brainexplodermerch.com these are readily available right now ready to go they fit all sorts of systems we got three here but anything with the iCal brain should fit the dimensions are all on the website be sure to double check that we don't want any surprises let me know your thoughts on the system are you into night vision? Do you want to one day try night vision? Do you have night vision but you want to record night vision? I'm interested in hearing sort of where we are as a community when it comes to night vision. Also be sure to check out that gameplay to see how these look in action and see what you're in for. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit up brainexplorermerch.com for these and I'll see you in the next one. Another one to the left. <laughs>